One of the best ways to keep insects out of your yard is to not bring them into the yard in the first place. This is kind of preventative. So when you're going out and selecting your plants, try to find plants that are pest free or appear to be in the best possible condition. Now, one thing you want to do is make sure that you select plants that are well adapted for the area. Especially trees, when they're stressed, they become really susceptible to various pest insects, uh, especially those that like to bore into the stems and even to the uh, uh, trunks. So select plants that are well adapted. Now when I come out and I'm looking for my own trees, what I'm looking for is signs and symptoms of the insects. So the symptoms are the way the plant looks things that don't look right, and then the signs are either the actual insect itself or indications that the insect was what's present. So the first thing you want to start with is the foliage. And what you're looking for in the foliage, if it's present, it may be early in the year when you're looking, but the leaves are out, look for malformations on the leaves and look for little speckles on the leaves. Now where you're going to find the pests is typically on the underside. So if you see anything on the upper side that looks just a little bit off, flip the leaf over and look for an insect. And there you might find uh, aphids, you might find scale insects, uh, there's a variety of things you might find. The next step is to look at all the little branches and what you're looking for here, uh, the, the, the symptoms would be little holes in the limbs or maybe sap flowing out of the limbs or little breakage points and in those spots you might actually find some little insects. So you want to look very carefully. Scale insects tend to like to get on branches as well, and sometimes mealy bugs and other insects with piercing sucking mouth parts. And also you can get borers in these areas, just little insects that bore right into the wood and create a little cavity and then a little larvae go in there. The next step is the trunk. And in the trunk, same sort of thing with the branches. You're looking for holes, uh, sap that might be flowing out, uh, various things like that, gouges in it that might be caused by insects. And then lastly, right down at the soil trunk interface, pull away a little bit of the soil or bedding material and look for signs of insects there. And what you would find is bulges in this part of the plant. You might find holes in there, sap flowing out, or maybe they're frass, they're, they're excrement being pushed out of the hole. And once you take the tree and plant it, put it in your yard, continue that cycle of inspection because that's really important to prevent the problem from happening in the first place. Catch it early. The things you might want to watch for are maybe uh, if you have like a fruit tree, peach tree, watch out for peach tree borers, maybe a trunk wrap down here at the soil trunk interface that would prevent the insect from getting the access to it. But keep up with the tree inspect it often, you're going to have a great pest-free tree for many years to come.